Yeah. Yes, okay. Yes. Uh, my name is Jeppe and I'm from Denmark. Uh, and I've been following the events in Ukraine for the last year very closely because obviously there's been a lot of things going on with the uh, first of all the Maidan um, revolution or what you would call it in Kiev and then afterwards the separatists in, in, in eastern Ukraine and, and, and the whole conflict with, with uh, Russia and, and the struggle for democracy and, and whether Ukraine should be part of the west or the east, it's, that's the whole sort of I guess the, the major uh, one of the major struggle points and of course the, the, I, I know that they are probably ethnic Russian and they live in the eastern parts it's around Donetsk and those areas but I don't know much about who they are if, if, when, but I know that their the methods seem quite harsh uh, but other than that I, 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 won't, I guess it's a very complicated situation, but yeah. maybe somehow. But I think in the end, it's up to the Ukrainian people. I won't say, but I, maybe they need some sort of. If they want some sort of uh, local government, but still be part of Ukraine, but some sort of federal system where you have some sort of you know local governing for those parts, but still be part of Ukraine. Uh, More pro power for local government. Maybe yeah, if if that's what they if, if that makes sense yeah. Where are you from? Yes, uh, my name is Natalie uh, and I'm from Denmark. I study journalism um, and I've always been very interested in Danish politics and Danish democracy. Um, and uh, this winter, um, my boyfriend and I started watching the live stream from uh, the Maiden Square and I could feel that something important here was, uh, was going on and going to, to happen. Um, and right after that, I traveled to Warsaw in Poland where I had a lot of um, uh, courses uh, at the university about Ukraine um, and about Eastern Ukraine as well um, and here I met people from Ukraine and people from Russia and people from Poland discussing uh, the situation in Ukraine and I saw how complex it is and how many um, opinions there are um, from different kinds of people so here I met people from the eastern part of Ukraine um, some of them uh, with some opinions about what should happen with the eastern part of Ukraine, some with completely different. Well, <laughs> I think that uh, as I can hear it, that there are some big problems with the uh, with the democracy and also with the violence. So there's been some situations that sound not good uh, from a democratic uh, democratic perspective. I think that's difficult to uh, to put in that way, and I I can't say that. Um, but I can tell you that uh, living in Denmark and uh, watching the Danish media, uh, you uh, of course get uh, get a feeling that they're bad. That's at least what the media tells you. And that's also what I heard from a lot of my Ukrainian friends that I met in Poland. But um, for me, it's difficult to say because I haven't been there. I haven't met them. I haven't talked to them. So, uh, so I can only say what I've heard and seen uh, from other people.